Hello, Mercer Library fans. Um, this is your librarian, Teresa, and I would like to give you a quick introduction to Wisconsin's Digital Library. This is a collection of ebooks and downloadable audiobooks that you can use um, from home on your digital devices, on your e-reader, on your smartphone, um, and it is all free with your library card number. So let me show you how to get started. You can first go to our library's website, which is mercerpubliclibrary.org. Look in this digital library menu for ebooks and audiobooks, or scroll down here and look at this icon for digital books and audiobooks. Click the link and you'll be taken to Wisconsin's Digital Library. And here you'll find a collection of items available for you to check out 24 7. So there are a number of additions to this system recently. If you haven't used it in a while, you might want to check it out again. They've added things like a Lucky Day collection of items that are uh, available with no waiting. They've also added some always available audiobooks and some no wait ebooks, as well as they just this week added a collection of 400 uh, classic books available at any time for anybody. So they're, they're available with no waiting. A great place for you or the kids to find some things to read during these uh, times of self isolation. So to get started, um, you can scroll down this main page and look at all the recommendations. These are lists that are curated by real librarians here in Wisconsin. So these are books that we're recommending right now. You can also use the search feature up here at the top. So if you are looking for, for example, a classic title, <clears throat> start typing it and a list of results will come up. And I will click on one. And here's the one that was just added as part of the Duke Classic series, Anne of Green Gables. There are some icons here that tell you right away what formats you're looking at. We've got audiobooks and ebooks primarily in this collection. If I want to borrow this one, it says it's available. Some of the other formats have waiting lists, so um, look for one that's available or place a hold if you want to wait for one that, that's not available now. And I'm already logged in to this collection. If you weren't already, it would ask you to sign in. It would ask you what your library is, and that's the Mercer Public Library or Northern Waters Library Service. We're both part of the same system here. And your library card number is the other thing that you'll need. So now that I'm signed in, I have the ability to just go ahead and borrow that. But I'd like to point out over here in the corner, there's a list of formats that each book is available with. This format is for Overdrive Read or EPUB. Notice that it does not say Kindle here. If you're using a Kindle Fire or a black and white Kindle reader, you're going to want to make sure you're looking for books that have that Kindle format available. Unfortunately, these Duke Classics do not have that, but there are a lot of other titles in our collection that do have the Kindle format available. If I want to borrow this, all I have to do is click Borrow. It asks me how long I want to borrow it for, 7, 14, or 21 days. I believe the limit on audiobooks is just 14. And then I click Borrow. So it's now available for me to read. And the way that I actually go about reading it is either I could sit here on my computer and click this little bookshelf icon and read it right now in my browser window, or I can download it to a device. So now would be the time to open up your tablet or your um, smartphone and download it directly to that device. I'll talk about that in just a minute. Let me click this button to go back to the home page. I'd like to just show you one other one because I'd like to show you what it looks like when you do borrow a Kindle book. So for example, here's a book that's available now. And when I look at the formats, it is available for Kindle book. When I click borrow, and again, it asks me how long I want to borrow it for. Click borrow. And then if I were to click this read now with Kindle button, what would happen is this link would take me to Amazon's website. I'd have to log in with my Amazon account and then tell Amazon which of my Kindle devices should you send this to. So if you have a Kindle Fire or you have a Kindle Paperwhite or any of those other models, it can be sent directly there by Amazon. So you do need to know your Amazon username and password to get into that. Um, so it's not a difficult process at all. It just takes a couple of minutes and then the next time that your Kindle device is connected to the internet, it will be downloaded automatically, just like any other book that you might have purchased for your Kindle. So I want to talk just briefly about how you use this on your digital devices. So again, back to the Wisconsin Digital Library homepage. If you scroll down just a little bit, here's a section called Meet Libby. And this is telling you how to download the Libby app. That's available for Android and Apple devices and Microsoft devices. And you download it, and then it gives you direct access to our OverDrive collection. You'll just need to log in with your library card number and tell it that you're in Wisconsin so that you can get access to what Wisconsin's libraries have purchased for you. 
Um, and this app is free. There's no charge to use it. It is available, as I said, for all the major formats. It is not available for Kindle Fire tablets, but it is available for other types of Android-based tablets, um, iPads, and almost all the major smartphones. So I hope you will give our digital library a try. It's a great service. There's a lot of great content in here. The last time I saw it was over 160,000 titles available to you. Um, if something you want is not available right now, you can wait for it. So poke around in here, do some searching with the search button at the top, and see if you can find something fun to read. Thanks.